Hey, what's going on guys? So I am waiting for my Mandalorian characters to come back from getting re-rigged because you all know I just rigged it myself and it was a terrible job. So it's, uh, I actually sent it to somebody to get fixed. So while we're waiting for that to come back and make some more shorts, I'm going to go ahead and look at another Maui map. Now, I'm getting a lot of new people in the channel viewing these videos. So Maui is a guy, I think they're like two people that creates these amazing photorealistic photo scan assets. They have the best environments in the Epic Marketplace right now. And look at this thing. I am making my way down the list, as you can see, and I think my next one is going to be the Lava Desert. But yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the Redwood Forest, and I'm also testing out my new setup here. It's uh, the Elgato Cam Link 4K feeding from my GPU, the 3090, into my old laptop. So hopefully, this is going to capture uh, the video a little bit better than last time, okay? And also, I saw this comment, as you all know, I read all the comments, well, I try to read all the comments. And it says the best photorealistic board forest I have ever seen. So we're going to change it up a little bit whenever I'm reviewing these maps and just taking a look at the maps. I just add like a character or something so it's not bored, you know. So let's go in Unreal Engine 4. So we have the map, show FPS. I do have the LSS, but I think it's disabled for now. Okay, so I have it disabled right now. And we're getting about 70 to 80 five frames per second and like i said his maps are just insane and i know people kept comparing it to crisis um you guys gotta send me the link because i can't find those videos uh even the one linus tech tips uploaded like a couple months back with his 3090 it looks good crisis but this is like photo scan realistic like it's a legit photo so uh let's go ahead and press play Okay, so here we are. We're just going to walk around, just kind of explore this environment because it's pretty amazing. And like I said, with the Crisis stuff, I thought like Final Fantasy looked really good when I was young. And now, seeing the videos for it, I was like, what? You know, so, look. I mean, look at these photo scan assets, especially the rocks. It's pretty freaking insane. For being a small team... This is this is a lot of work, and there's a board. You know, you say it's a board forest. Well, now there's boars in this forest for you, just for you, dude. I put it in there. Um, as you can see right here, what the? Okay. I guess. All right. Let me start that over. That was weird. They just that thing is really legit. Just charged me. Okay, so let's not get close to those guys. Um. And let's take a look at the water again, because the water was really nice, but it was kind of blurry last time. And uh, also, I turned off motion blur. Speaking of blur, some of you guys didn't like it, so I turned it off. It's on by default. There we go. Let's take a look at the water. I mean, I, it, it just blows my mind, because whenever Unreal Engine 5 comes out... <sighs> Looking at that demo and how they're explaining that technology they put in there, that's just insane. Like, you're talking mil millions and billions of triangles on the map? Like, how is that even possible? So, I'm really curious on what that's going to look like. And again, if you're a 3D artist out there, start looking at Unreal stuff because... It's kind of like the gold rush. It's going to be insane. There's going to be so much need for stuff like assets and photorealistic environments and characters that you're going to make so much dough if you hop in. So definitely start doing your research because look at this. This is insane, man. Just how beautiful this map is. Look at this. Let's get on top of this rock. For a thumbnail. Thumbnail picture. That's beautiful, dude. Now, I'll probably get better FPS if I, um... If I package it up as a game and then open it as an EXE as well. 
So I might do that here in a second. This is cool. Look at that lighting. And then the cool thing about this is, like I said earlier, this is not even ray traced. This map, I mean, it's it's so humongous that I don't know if it can be ray traced. That's cool, man. Okay. So let's turn on DLSS just to play around with that setting because right now I'm getting around 98-ish. Let's turn it on. So if I turn the DLSS setting here, this is only going to help in the viewer right here. But whenever we press play, it doesn't actually help. So we actually go to the blueprint. And let's open up a begin play. So you can see, event begin play, set DLSS mode. That's all you need. And we'll set this one to quality for now and then compile and save. So when we press play, it's going to set the uh, DLSS setting. Okay. And this is set in quality mode. So our FPS dropped, which makes sense. I think we were 80-ish 80, 80 without the LSS. Now we're like 70, 69, but the quality got, wait, I just want to make sure we're, we're avoiding those guys. I mean, they look like they're just doing their thing, but I'm not trying to get tackled again. So let's sprint. I have the hacks on right now. Let's go back to the water and see how many we're going to get. If I can find it. Shoot, I don't know where it is, actually. All right, so they're about 63. So the quality definitely dropped. So what we'll do is go to the ultra performance one. And see how that looks. Alright. Set this to ultra performance. And compile and save. Press play. F11. And here we go. And you can really see the quality. Degrade just a little bit. And now we're hitting like the 100s. Three digits marks on the uh, on the. FPS here. I saw it dip to 100. But you can really see that it's taking a toll on um, the, the graphics a little bit. Oh, shoot. All right. So it's like 90 ish, but the graphics took a hit. So making sure those borders aren't gonna attack us again. So what I'm gonna do last is just package it up and take a look at it to see if the uh, FPS gets better. So escape, and we will go with. Let me turn off the blueprint. Pile save. Let's go. Package this project for Android. Do you think Android can run this? We'll put it in my T-Post folder. Okay, guys. So here we are. We packaged it up as an EXE. And we're running it kind of like, if you would, like a game. It's pretty smooth, to be honest. It is not bad at all. I gotta change that view whenever I strafe. It's weird. But yeah, look at this thing. It's pretty cool, huh? It's not bad. I'm throw rocks at those guys. Ooh, I just killed that guy. How about this one? Yeah, but that's that's the video, guys. That is the map by Maui. The red wood map. If you guys saw my Mandalorian short. Oh, what the? Where did he come from? I used this map already, and I'm actually going to finish shooting or not shooting creating that the rest of the stuff here and whenever i get my mandalorian back all right guys i will see you later so you want to learn unreal engine 4 but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations maybe i can help with that i just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside unreal engine 4. in an hour and 40 minutes i'm going to teach you how to install unreal engine 4 to create your very first cg animation 
Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.